Yes, because the, the thing is, they also believe there was uh, prophets that were sent to Gentile nations. So it's a possibility. I spoke to Josh before. Okay. So, so there was prophets sent specifically. He said. He said. He said Gentiles. last time. Yeah, one of them. He said to me last time. He said there are prophets like Muhammad. Maybe he is a prophet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gentiles. Josh said this to me. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The point so, is. So then, let me just go yeah. back to going back to heaven. We believe the seven commandments. So somebody has to take Judaism out of the equation. They have to not worship idols. So they have to believe in the unity okay. of God. Muslims so that. Okay, you could believe in the unity of God, but still believe Judaism is not correct. That's not a contradiction. Okay. That's number one. Yeah. You can't curse God, which is something you don't do. You as don't do, yeah. Not commit murder. Yeah. Adultery. Yeah. Or other sexual crimes. So if sexual someone, immorality. What if they do and repent? What? No what repentance. Repent? No repentance. So, different, so, different, so different scholars hold different things, but I think the wild variety of them believe no repentance. Correct. Okay. I could be. I, <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 No, we'll let okay. go to heaven. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Next carry one. Shouldn't okay. steal. Still okay. You have to live in somewhere where there's court, so you can't live in like a in a so some order, not Amazon jungle. You can't. No, it's not question of Amazon jungle. If you can't live somewhere where there's no justice, where there's where, where so Oppression. some. So some people can claim in England where the rich and the famous get away could yeah. count as not justice, but you have to live in somewhere where there's a court of law, where there's rules, and that you can't eat from a living animal while it's still alive. You see here, you, exactly, but, by the way. You can't eat from a living animal? Like, like a living animal, you can't just be like animals. Oh, oh sorry, you can't eat like an animal, okay, all right. Like no, no, you can't eat from a living animal. You, you can eat from a living animal. Yeah, which means you can't take a chicken that's alive, cut its leg off and start and cook it. Yeah, that's not true. You have to yeah. kill it. Yeah, oh, you, you have okay, to slaughter okay, it. Okay. Yes. We have the same thing, by the way. So We're not torturing. Okay, yes. that was six. What was the seven? There was um, believing, um, not worship idols, okay. do not curse God, do not steal. Okay, so we, we fit that criteria. If, yeah. if, if you fit in that criteria, what happens to us? Then you go to, then you go to heaven. Okay. No, 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 go to heaven. heaven. What's in heaven? So by, what's heaven? What's heaven, what, yeah. what's heaven first, then what's in it? What's heaven? So we, I have not. There, we don't have many scriptures, to the best of my knowledge, describing what's in heaven. What is heaven? What is heaven? We but so eternal life. Like we are living now? No. What is it then? It, uh, what? We believe this world. Are is, you doing all this hard work to yeah. go somewhere you don't know, and you don't know what's going to happen there? Don't you see there is something no. issue here? Because what, do you understand the point? I do, but chef, as long as I'm not going hell and I'm going somewhere where I'm going to live, it's, yeah. what is what is heaven? Yeah, I don't know. What so, is heaven? What is heaven? Okay, live eternal. Life. What do you mean eternal life? So, like oh, what eating and drinking, doing. That's, so we believe. What no, is so, that eternal life? So okay, let, let we'll, me we'll answer you like this. You you believe you believe in God and you believe He's all knowing. Yes. And if he, you trust Him, correct? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You trust Him. So we trust Him. And then when we turn this heaven, that it's going to be good. The, it's going to yeah. be only the best for us. Okay. So because we don't have it in writing, there's going to be um, Ferraris for everyone. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't doesn't contradict the reality because we believe in God and we believe when He says that He's going to give us all what we want. And it's going to be eternal life and goodness. We don't need Him there's, to say. What is, what is heaven? Before you said this is you are adding all eternal goodness and all yeah. of these things. What is goodness mission that in the no, no, he has no chef. He's saying. No, no, he said something. Yeah? Yeah. He said he's going to give us goodness. Yeah. It didn't say in the scripture that he's going to give you goodness. Correct? No, no, he's saying they have tawakkul. I, one second, before Sorry. I talk, I'm, that's not my, my point here. No. So, in the scripture. He didn't say to you, we'll give you goodness. He said, just only to go to heaven. Yes. All what you have going to heaven and eternal life. You'll be it rewarded in heaven with eternal life. With eternal life. Yes. What is heaven? And what's good? It's a place. Do you explain it's a place? No. They can't say it's a place. Oh, okay. No, yeah, I agree. It's not necessary. They can't say it's a place. They can't say it's... Uh, they, they can't say... They, they know it's in heaven and they, that it's heaven. Yeah, and they know it's eternal life. That's the only two criteria. They have nothing else. Nothing. Correct. I, I, look, I would... What's I, this? Sheikh, I wouldn't say that's mainly the problem here. I would want to know no, the problem. attributes of God. This but is the main criteria. Right. Right. Now, before, why before, is there a problem? Because... I will tell you what. I will tell you what. Yes. Now, when you say, okay, I'm going to go in eternal life, eternal life of what? You said goodness. There's the criteria of goodness is not there. So it could be eternal life of goodness and badness. It could be different things. So I'll tell you, so why do it? So we'll tell you like this. So Meaning it yeah. could be bad. No. Just, uh, I, why why can't it be bad? And I'll explain you why it can't be bad. Because we have descript, in the, this in, quite in-depth description of hell. Hell we have. And the, what the thing is, you're either going to be in hell or heaven. 
So I know the, the, the heaven, not necessarily everything is good. No, it is, and I'll explain you How why. Because we believe heaven is all, we believe where heaven is where one gets punished, where it's pain, it's hellfire, wherever. Well, we believe in heaven. What about just the disturbance? No, we believe it. We believe it's going to be a good beating. No disturbance. I'm talking about disturbance just only in the heaven. Just only, we might be not be beaten, but disturbance. No, we don't. We don't because it, it's here. You'll be rewarded by going to heaven. Oh, going back now to the point, which is we need to. Yes. He asked about the definition of life. Yeah. Because he said, what are, what is the description of life? Because at the end of the day, if something with no description doesn't exist, do you agree? No. Something has no any description. I don't agree. No description, then something means no description. It cannot be described. There yeah. is no description. It doesn't mean it doesn't exist, no. So existence is the, the description. Yeah, but it's not necessarily in-depth existence. existence. It's not in-depth It is part of, part of description, correct? When you say exist and doesn't exist, this is description. I suppose. So that's why we're saying if there is something or if there is anything or whatever, because you say something, it means there's a thing, it's exist. There is whatever has no description, including existence, doesn't exist. Right? But I don't understand. Can you say that again for me? Meaning if there is anything has no description at all, including existence, yeah. it doesn't exist. I don't let's I don't understand what what um I let me let me try to clarify. This. Yes. Now we you we you believe that God exists, so that's part of the description that you have about that. Right? Yes. So it doesn't have totally because you mentioned earlier, God has no description earlier. Correct. correct? And I told you things with no description doesn't exist. No, so I disagree now, with you on that. But yeah. when you say it exists when God when you say God exists, this is part of his description. So it described to be existed. So that's why that's why you cannot say it has no description. Do you understand the I, point? I, yes, that's not what I'm saying. So that's why we say God has no description. That's actually you are contradicting. You are contradicting yourself because God has description, even according to you, that it exists. And that's part of the description. So, yes and no. For example, uh, this yeah. exists. Yes. Yeah. So uh, it doesn't matter what its color, it doesn't matter. So it exists, at yes. least it exists. This yes. is part of its description. Yes. If it doesn't exist, there's empty. There's nothing there. Do you understand? So it's part of the description of anything yeah. is existence, correct? Yes and no. You because you're in, in the English language, it's not. So when, when so when we're talking out there, when people want a description, saying the existence in it of itself, they don't count as a description. No, now it does I count as a description. They so it does count as a description. No, no, I think you would accept that. For example, do you exist you accept that God exists? Yes. Okay. So that's part of the okay, description. So, so, okay, I, let's, so let's but, yes. Okay, one second, it's very yeah. easy, share. He exists. Yes. Do you believe he can die? Or he can cease to exist? I don't know. We go, and I'll tell you why. So you can die. No, no, you're going against the nature. Listen, you go no, to the, you no, go no, to no, the, listen, no, listen. No, I'll, I'll answer you like this. Answer thing. me like this. Can God create a stone so heavy he can't lift? No, because the thing no, is, not, it doesn't no, no, we, can't say no, we, we can't say no. But let, I'll, I'll try to. That's the answer to your question. Yeah. Though. We can't say no. no, we cannot say no. One second. Because God, God doesn't do things, doesn't befit his majesty anymore. Pardon? God will not do something doesn't give it to his majesty anymore. Yeah, it's not a thing. It's not a thing. A thing, look, we need to understand what we mean by a thing, yeah? yeah. Everything that we mention is a thing, yeah? For example, the reason I said to you, can God cease to exist? Yeah. Such thing doesn't ex exist. It's just, it's just certain That's things only that to, the, to, to discuss it, it's, it's, not, it's, it's, it's not, it's it just, doesn't befit in God. Yeah, we exactly. So things doesn't befit God. We are in a way, in, in, a, in, a, in, one, in one page, in one thing, that things doesn't befit God, we don't discuss it. Simple as that. Yes. To say, can he cease to exist? We say no. We can't. We can't discuss this. Can he do that? We can't say he can't or can't. We do so I agree it. with you on that. So there, are, there are things that it doesn't befit God to be discussed about God because at the end of the day we don't know. I agree. Yeah. I agree with yeah, that. We do. We do know he cannot. End. We do not say can, again to say cannot something and to say uh, God for example can God oppress? Can God oppress? Oppress what? Oppress anyone? Yes. He can. No, God said, God told us that he will not oppress. It doesn't befit his majesty and his glory to be an oppressor. Because God is good, correct? Yes. Do you believe he's good? Yes. Do you believe God is good? Yes. So can... Yeah, but can, can God, God being good doesn't contradict. Doesn't contradict. Oppression is bad. No, but God being good doesn't contradict the fact that there's disease and... Disease is something, again, that's not oppression. Yeah. Disease and all of this is this yeah. not oppression. But you said you confirm God oppress. You know what means oppress? Do things to the people they don't deserve it. 
the situation with they don't deserve it. No, so then he doesn't. It's not undeserved. Well, it's, I think the issue is when it comes to talking about the, um, the singularity of God. Okay. In the English language, I don't think it's possible. Even in Hebrew language, if you wanted to go to discuss it about the Hebrew language, again, can God be described as an oppressor? There isn't a Hebrew word for it. Oppressor? Yeah. To oppress something. You don't, in, you don't have the Hebrew word to say oppress. No. Oppress. In, in, in ancient Hebrew, in the, not what they, they speak in Israel now, but the ones in the, of, the, of the Talmud, on the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the Old Testament. What was Pharaoh was doing? Who? Pharaoh, what he was doing? Pharaoh, Pharaoh, what he used to do? Was yep. he an oppressor? Was yes. he a tyrant? Yeah, but it doesn't say, it doesn't use that word to describe it. What, what was described as the Pharaoh? Man, I need to think, uh, give me a second. I can't remember on top of my head, but it doesn't use that word. But what was the, what was Pharaoh used to do? He was oppressing the Jews. So he was oppressing. Yes. So there is no word in, in that. They didn't, they didn't describe that he was oppressing and killing mm -hmm. them, torturing them. No, because they can, they can use the word the killing, you can use the word, um, um, they, it could use the, it could use the word um, killing. There's a word for killing. There's a word for... I think maybe you need to check your scripture. I doubt that Pharaoh is not being described properly. Uh, I, I will when I get home. I think when I, I think if we're going to try go to, to where the issue of religion, if we're go, if you're going to try go to a point of of the um, singularity of God to try debate to explain why you think I'm wrong or right. Before I, before I'm not talking about you or right or wrong. Or no, but I we believe yeah. we believe when it comes to singularity of God, there's much we don't know and don't understand. So when of course, I, we, we, of course, we can't comprehend God. That's something which is we know this. But but you must have something. Limited. But you limited. must something about singularity. Like for the Christians say, we believe God is one. Yeah. But do you accept the oneness, the way they see it, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? No. Exactly. So what do you mean by singularity? Because they will say, no, we we're monotheistic. We believe one God. So how do you differentiate between their oneness and the oneness of God, Islam, and Judaism? I. So how do we deal with the singularity? Because they will say we believe one God. So one for, God. Issue one is that they is the dying. The dying plays a part in it. If okay, they good, so okay, that's so it. So that's my point. So that's, that's one, one of the that's points another attribute that he and cannot die. die. No. No. So God wouldn't die. Good. So he's the, he die. exists, he's ever living, he doesn't die. There's three attributes. Is he the most powerful? All knowing. All knowing. Oh no. So we have so those are yes. attributes. How do yes. you say God, God can be described? I don't think described. And the it's, US attributes. He used he used the word describe. You cannot describe that. Yeah, because that's not the that's no, attribute. No, 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 no. When well, we, we can't we can't describe God. This, this, no, 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 no. That's what it's words. If I may, attributes. Allow me to example. Sheikh, yes. If I wanted you to explain, describe this, you wouldn't say that. You, if I uh, describe, describe Ali, for example. Ali wears glasses. Ali is. Uh, no, but uh, umbrella is a better example. Average, <laughs> average handsome. Yeah. Mediocre. Uh, and, and has issues. Six feet tall. Ha, has serious issues. In certain, uh, Part of the description <laughs> as well. He has issues in Aqidah. No? <laughs> so the point is, I'm describing now certain things about him. And he is good. He has good heart, and he has. And umbrella stop. He's kind. Yeah. But with description. Yeah. In the sense. It's no, but glasses is a description. Being kind is an attribute. If I say this umbrella okay. stop. Oh, 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 so do you get his words, Chef? All right. Because no, example, okay. Allah, this umbrella Allah, stops the rain. It does. If I tell you it stops the okay. rain, so, you can still not describe it to me. All right. So what? It's you an say? attribute. It's so just so attribute. Thing. So attribute. So let's use the word attribute. Now, does God have attributes? Yes. Okay. What are his attributes? Everything and nothing, which would be the, the short answer, is everything God, Everything originates from God, correct? Okay. So, but then by default, that has to be God. No. Why not? Because everything, just because everything is from Him, yeah. paradise He created. It's going to be eternal, yeah. post-eternal. But that eternity is not the same eternity as God's eternity. I hear. Do you get it? So just because something is from Him doesn't mean it's Him. Like yes. when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blew the ruh to Isa alayhi salam, they claim, oh, that means that's a part of God in Him. No, we don't believe that. So he says, when you blow the, 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 the spirit to, to Jesus. So, so the attributes of God. So we have um, 36 attributes that we describe to God. Okay. Merciful justice. Uh, so justice. Can he go against his justice? Can he go In what sense? What does that mean? Can, go he against? can he be unjust? Can he be unjust? Can he ever be unjust? We no. say no. Yeah. yeah so my point is going back. Yeah. So Allah says in the Quran, Allah will never oppress no one. Allah confirmed this in the Quran. Now. Going back to the attributes, to the attributes, there are attributes of God which is related to His essence, 
And there are other tribunals to, uh, of, of God which is related to his actions. So mercy, justice, etc. This is related to his actions. Yeah? But there are things related to his essence. Like yeah? what? Like, for example, existence. He exists. That's related to his essence. Correct? Anything else besides that? Huh? Do you have any other examples besides that? No. Yes. We have, we have, for example, we have the face of God. We believe that God has a face that befits his majesty and glory. We believe God as well has hands that befits his majesty and glory. And God confirmed this in the Quran, do you, saying that he has created Adam with his two hands. Do you believe that when you die, and I just, I'm trying to understand, so I'm going to go off a second. Do you believe when you die and you go to heaven, you'll see God itself? Yes. That will be, be the best, that's, the, that's what Je paradise is about. And you think it's going to be in the form of a human? No. In so, the form that we even cannot complain. Yes. I am. And that's the most thing we look forward to in you paradise. You see here, that's the best thing that we can achieve in paradise is to see the face of God. The best thing. Yes. That in paradise is to see the face of God. That is the best thing. All paradise, and by the way we say heaven, heaven is just what you see here. Yeah. Uh, yes, paradise, no, I agree. They're talking about, they're talking about the, uh, what you described, the heaven. But we don't say heaven, we say paradise. Paradise, and or Jannah. And Jannah, and the highest level of Jannah is Al-Firdaus, which is the paradise. That's There's different the, levels of Jannah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The highest level of Jannah is the Firdaus. What's, which the, is the, di highest. what's the different levels of Jannah? The, the lowest level of Jannah yeah. is those ones who have done evil deeds, Hellfire. and they barely, and they, 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 they barely, but they have only oneness of God, they have only Tawheed. But because of this, that's why they will not have the eternal punishment. So, of if somebody, a Muslim, he believes in the in the in the believes in the oneness of God, he's, yeah, he believes he very evil. He was evil. He killed hundreds yes, of people. He was, he's going to go to. He his time in hellfire. If, he if he repent, if he and again, he's going to go to Jannah. No, no, no. If he's going to do his time in hellfire. He's going to do his time in hellfire. And these are the people the Prophet described. They will come out like they burnt. They burnt. And they will go into a, the, a river. Actually, we went through in the hadith. Yes. They will go into a specific. Um, uh, river, yeah, and that's it's called Hayat Hayat, Nahar al Hayat, yeah, and they will get they life, yeah? yeah, and then afterwards, when they come out, yeah. do you know what their reward is going to be? What the reward will be that God will give the same as our earth, like three times the yeah, whatever Thank equivalent, you. whatever equivalent to the best king who has ruled on earth, he yes. will have that. Imagine but that it, is the worst of this. This is a person who never repented in his life. Yes. Yes. Now here, repentance or something that's subjective, we can't say this, but we say at least that they have done all crimes. The only what they have, they stick to the Tawheed. But you, they live and die on Tawheed. No, but this is somebody who never repented. Yeah, no, even, no, no. If, even if they but at least they stick to Tawheed. You understand? They believed in the oneness of God. They What's Tawheed? Tawheed is the oneness of God. Tawheed Tawheed oneness of God. Of God. But he Pure. sinned his entire life. But, he believed in Allah, but he but, sinned but, but, the entire okay. life. What's the greatest uh, uh, sin in, in oh, Judaism? Do no. you not drink with your right hand? No. Okay, yeah. so what did you say? Was it like a prayer? We do the same as well. No? Prayer. Bismillah. Okay, interesting. We do the same as well. Yeah. Yes, so I the know. thing is, um, um, I forgot so his name. David. David, the thing is, what is the greatest sin in Judaism? So we believe there's three um, sins yeah. that one must never violate, even if their life's at risk. Even if their life's at risk? Yes. Okay, with us, it's, okay, carry on. Idolatry, mm -hmm. murder. Okay. And so it's like a major sin take you out. Okay. Yeah, basically, I will tell you, let and, me and, tell you and, something. And sexual immorality. I mentioned to no, you. What about uh, listen, worship listen. other than God? Idol worship. Yes, idol. That's, the, that's the pinnacle. Murder, idol worship. Oh, you didn't say idol worship, you said murder. You said, um, you didn't mention, did you say idol worship? Yeah. Sorry, I missed you. Okay, idol worship. Let, listen, I, I, okay, okay, okay. The problem is, I mentioned to you earlier, many of the Mu'tazi like Mu'tazi. They took their. You are there, so we can. You know. So. Yeah, they took their belief yeah. from the from. What has these? Where are they? Where are they based from? They are not. They are not. Used to be in the past. It's a. It's a group. It's a. It's ideology from Muslims. Yeah. They they start wanting to exalt God in the beginning. So they literally they start, you know, removing all kind of attributes of God. That God as if God doesn't have the attributes, especially the essence attributes. And then they said, what God produce to the creation? What God produces only creation. So God doesn't speak. So what he said, what he, it's, it's a, uh, basically he creates the speech and so on and so forth. So they do all of these things. And then they end up literally having all of the Jews faith that they have, many of the, many of the faith of the Jews that they have, including as well that the one who killed someone, for example, they say he will never ever have the, uh, will enter Jannah, but he will have in a place, he will be not in the hellfire for eternity. So, uh, because, uh, Araf, yeah, uh, the, the, no, not Araf, not Araf, uh, even, even like that. They will be no, they will be not in, in Jannah because of in paradise because that they have committed these crimes and they will be not in the hellfire 
because they have they have tawhid. So they will be in a manzil, maybe in a manzil thing. You see, you see, it'll be in the middle, like hanging in the middle. So the point is, they are kind of pretty much what you similar to you. And, and still, we we call, we call we consider them as well a deviant ideology because the issue is. Do you, de- do you deem them Muslim? Uh, many of the schools, no, they said no, they're not Muslim. Many of the schools, they still Hanif- exist or they don't anymore? No, not anymore. There are some here and there people, but not anymore. Some of the some of the many of the Shias believe nowadays have some kind of similarity about in, the, in certain things. But going back to the point, if you see if you read the Quran, the Quran confirms that God has attributes and has essence attributes. For example, his essence attribute, for example, God has a face that befits his majesty and glory, God has a hand that befits his majesty and glory, and so on and so forth. Yeah? So that's what we believe about that. And in the same time as well, God confirmed as well many of his attributes that he will never oppress. And you said earlier, you said, okay, God, when I asked you, can God oppress, you said, yeah, it could be. But I said to you here, it doesn't befit God to oppress because God is not an oppressor. You see, all of these things, which is we... So, I know, so I, going back to what I earlier said, yeah. it's the issue with this conversation is we're using, um, we're using a foreign language to discuss something. Yeah. Uh, words like oppress, and there's a lot of um, attributes. The issue is we agree on most, we, we may not realize, but we actually agree, it's just that we're using a language that we're both not, um, it's, that we're, that's not, that's not natural believe, to the if conversation. You believe, listen, if you believe, we, we go to heaven. You yeah. if you believe this? Yes. And we don't believe you're going to go to heaven, by the way. We don't, we don't believe you. Eternal you're going to go to hellfire for me? Yes, unfortunately. If you, if, died, if, if, you, if, if you died on this, if, if you lived and died on this, you will never go to you no, will no, never if, go to if, if you know Islam is the truth and you reject it. Now, one second. But now here, after all of these Islam, now yeah. here, why don't you go to something that both parties agree they're going to go to heaven? Come to Islam. You know why? Because with us, it's going to heaven. Right? Oh, I'll answer you. Yeah. Because we, so <laughs> you're going to paradise either way. If you become it, then you, you follow the seven commandments. So, you go in. There's the. It's a good line, chef. There's the joke answer and there's the real answer. Yeah. The, jo- the what? The answer. Give me the answer. Then we'll talk about the joke. The real answer is because I don't believe you're right. So you said you don't believe that we're right. How are we gonna go to heaven for our matai? What? <laughs> because you, the contradictions that you have are not enough like, to stop you from like, going to like, heaven. Like what? Oh, he's saying it's not. It's, he's saying it's not that bad for you to go to heaven, because what you believe the tawhid and this. What this, is what is the, what is the contradiction that we have? No, no. He's saying you don't have enough to go hellfire. He's saying we accept you have bad stuff, but the good outweigh. That's what you go in heaven. He's saying. Okay. What are the contradictions that we have? What my issues with Islam? So it's a, well, I'll get to it in a second, and I have no problem going to. But you, what you're saying is that now the joke. You wanted to say the joke. Okay. Joke is because what. Well, because if, first of all, if I leave, if I leave your religion, if I leave my religion and become Muslim, I will not go to heaven. I, me, and you could believe the exact same thing, and now I'm going to hell. It's not hell fire, and you're going to heaven. Why? Because it's like it's similar to what Ali said before. That if How is I, that? How is that? Well, I'll answer you because if I, like Ali saying, if I know that Islam is the true religion and I didn't join, that's why I'm going to hell. So it's the same thing here. Well, the reason same thing, if you don't know, uh, all the, the, the evidence being established to the people, so, for example, so we can't say, no, if you, if you know that many... You might know. Yeah, yeah, you might but know. because I know that Judaism is the right religion and I'm okay. choosing to become Muslim, that's why I can never go to heaven. Okay. You're not choosing to become Muslim. You're Muslim, you just, you, you don't... I left. The issues of the leaving. Okay, going back. What's the contradictions in, in Islam that you think is contradiction? First of all, G- we don't, Jesus, you believe Jesus was a prophet, we don't. Okay. Don't you, think, don't you think there is enough evidence that about Jesus that no. he was a prophet? No, not at all. So, the issue with, with Jesus is, you're, you're, you're taking, what's his name, you're using Christian yes, theology. Can you wrap it five minutes because the battery is like... Okay. Please, yeah, five minutes wrap up. You, okay. You're using Christian theology. We're not using This is what that, that would be. We're not using that theology. And also, I want to know, do you believe God gets tired on the seventh day? Please touch on that attribute. No. Okay. Yeah, that, does he get tired? No. He doesn't get tired? No. Is it not mentioned in the scripture that he gets tired? No, we said he rested. It doesn't say he got tired. So he did, why he rested? Because he was tired? No. Does God need to rest? No. So what did he rest then? Because for us, it's a belief. Because when did God, when does it say God rested? On the seventh day after he finished... You said this, I'm not... We don't, uh, after, we don't believe this. Uh, when, when did it say about us? After he finished creating the world. So it's a, by he, a, he didn't. But for us, it's more to show that the end, the creation had ended. He rested, so to speak, that 
that was the end of the creation of the world. Was but yeah. But Yom Shah, he rested, and the seventh day he rested is more to show that that's the end. What do you mean he rested? Again, you don't know what means rested. It's no, it's to show that it was the end of the creation. No, it says rested. Right? Yes. So rested means after done hard work and then he rested. He got tired. No, not necessarily. But how is that? What? It's not. David, why don't you just read about Islam and see the beauty of Islam that will come people, 1.8 billion people on earth. Those are your brothers and sisters and rather than just only, only just a small secluded, for example, community. And I'm, I'm not, at the end of the day, it's your faith, whatever. We are not here, you know, to, uh, we are here just to invite you to Islam, to tell you this is what Islam is about. And Islam is not, there is no contradiction in Islam. When you say, when we have ev enough evidences in the Quran confirming Jesus peace be upon him to be a prophet of God, that he was sent by God. We have enough evidence to confirm it. Yeah? And the Quran confirms the truth from God and came from God. The prophecies I've, of the Quran I've, came. If you believe yeah. Prophet Muhammad is a prophet of God, do you I don't. It? I believe there's a possibility he was. I so if he was a prophet of God, yeah. if he was a prophet of God and yeah. he confirmed that Jesus was a prophet of God, yeah. will you accept this? No, not necessarily. You said if you believe, if he's I'll a prophet of God, because what do you mean? You don't accept the saying of the prophet? No, no, I'll tell you what. We believe he may have been a prophet. We believe that not Gentiles have that have had their own prophet. Okay, so we believe, if he's a prophet of God. Yes, let's go on the hypothetical that I believe he is a prophet for you. Yeah. He could have been false prophecies. He could have, we believe... Even the prophets, they have false prophecies. We believe that, they are, that it's possible for a prophet is, to lie. So it's possible for the prophet to lie? Yeah. Why to lie? Then why, why God choose them then? To convey the message? If they lie, how God will choose them? It's not because God gave them the opportunity to do. God gave them the option to do right. Yeah, but the point just is like God. Hello, God. God no, 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 listen, no. listen. Yeah. The option to do right, conveying the message, are totally different things. It's not. That they are, they are, they are to to convey message of God. If they are to convey the message of God, they cannot lie. We don't believe that about prophecies. You understand? If they are no, to convey, that, that means that that means all of we not only that we, means all of the half of it is lied. Then. No, it's not. No, it's right. not How that, is that? If I'll answer you. Let, let, let me answer you. David, David let me answer prophet, you. Yes, let me a, what? David was a prophet. Correct? I'm not sure. Come what? on, David, David was a prophet. Read, read the Old Testament. In the Old Testament, in, in, in your scripture, in, in Talmud, David was a prophet of God. If David was a prophet of God, yes. could he lie? Yes. I'll answer you, Sheikh. Let me answer you. That means half of you or what you are? Is Moses was a prophet. Yes. Right? I'll answer you. Let me answer you, Sheikh. Let me answer you. You're asking me a question. Let me answer was you. Was Moses a prophet? Yes. yes. So he could lie? Yes. So most of the script would be lying? No, I'll explain you why, Sheikh. I'll answer you. Let me. Let me. You keep. We believe. We believe that, that, people, that, we believe that everyone on this earth is human, correct? Correct. Everyone's human. Correct. Humans can sin, correct? Yes, human, normally human, yes. What? Normally human, yes. You can sin. So we, normally human, yes. So for that reason, so for that reason, we be, we have set categories of when a prophet comes to tell you that X, Y, and Z. You, that we we have categories that when a prophet somebody comes to say they're a prophet, we test them on things to show they're actually a prophet. For that reason, because we believe human beings, we because it's twofold. It's because there's no way for someone to know if it's a real prophecy. If he comes, if he comes here and says he's a prophet from God, there's no way for no to do. My, my, my yes question, or no? Did you get Did you get my point? My point is I if, do, but I'll Moses, answer. If Moses was a prophet of God and yeah. he could lie, that means half of you could be lied. I'll answer. No, no, I'll answer could you like this. Sheikh, I'll answer like this. You agree that if Ali is a prophet, there's I no. Agree. Way. I say, okay. Oh, oh, if yeah. he is, if he is, there's no way for you to know for sure. No, we, we, there is a way to know for sure. God, God, God showed that they say prophecies that it could happen, and those, uh, God showed as well that they have as well some uh, evidences confirming that the prophets are messengers of God. What evidence could they have to prove that? For example, the Quran. No, but not not no, not talking about you. Not, 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 we're not talking about him. Jesus, I'm he, was talking about able, he was able to resurrect people from death. That it, and, and it was something that confirmed in the Quran, for example. If yeah. the, the point is, if the Quran confirmed to me that yeah. it's a word of God, yeah. that means it's, it's, if it's confirmed to me that Prophet Muhammad is a prophet of God, whatever was said in the Quran is the truth. You see the point? I understand, but we, we have to... Yeah, no, if there, if yeah. there is a possibility that the Prophet could lie, yeah. that means half of your scripture could be lie. Yes, I, no, I agree with that. I, so that means, why do you need to believe in something that could be no, lying? No, so I agree with you that half the scripture, if we believe prophets could lie, then half the scripture could be a lie. Or most of it. Everything, for argument's sake. Yeah, so no, why, why, do you, why do you need to believe in something that could because be Because I don't believe it's a lie. How? Who, who, who put the criteria? What? Who put the criteria? You tell, for example, Moses said about heaven. How do you know there's heaven? Because when it came to... 
No, so first we have to establish if Moses is a prophet. Let's establish if he's yeah, a prophet. Moses, do, how do uh, I know he's a prophet? Okay. That he's not lying. So that's what you want to no, know. No, no. Yeah, uh, how do you know that he's not lying? Okay, because the stuff that Moses did shows the, the one it shows that he's a prophet. If, so if he's a prophet, he doesn't lie. What? No, not necessarily. But what the scripture you said. Understand, you understand? My I point? understand your point. Does can the prophet lie? Can a prophet lie? Yes. Yeah. If he can lie, now Moses is a prophet, correct? Yes. He could have lied, correct? Let's go, yes. That means what's heaven? You don't know. Have you seen heaven? Have you seen heaven? No. Okay. Have you seen God? No. So he said there's God and there's heaven. Maybe he's lying. If it, according to you. Yeah. If they could lie, that means yeah. everything, it demolished everything that, that, that you have. Yeah, it doesn't. Because first of all, it's faith. No, listen, faith yeah. is not a blind thing. You understand? Faith, yeah. not just only, it has to have, it has to be established properly with the logic things, which means the people who are conveying no, that I, faith, I can, they have to be in I can, I, can, I can establish my faith in a simple way. Which is? What? <laughs> it's very simple. Uh, so there's a, uh, if you, if you, you say you can't use faith, it has to use to logic. No, I'm saying, no, I'm not saying you use logic. I'm saying that just only faith, not yeah. just, I'm saying blind faith. It's not a blind faith. We, there are things that beyond our logic, beyond our, our yes. comprehension. And we have to believe in them as Muslims. No problem. Well, I'm not talking about this. The matter. My issue is, my issue is as follow. Yeah. If I say, if I say to you, if there is a prophet of God, and this prophet of God, it shouldn't be lying. He shouldn't be lying. If there is a possibility that he could have lied, that yeah. means it demolished all everything that I have. No. So, we, so, so now, how do you know if, if, if Moses so, was a prophet and there is a possibility that he could have lied? Yeah. That means the consequence of this. How do you know what you what is mentioned in the in your gospel, box is correct? Your box is correct. So, we believe that there's a so. so. We acknowledge Moses as a prophet. Now you want to correct, just understand. Yeah. You're saying he could be lying, he could be a real prophet, he just could be making stuff up, correct? Yeah. So when it comes to when prophets that we have... Sorry, my mother. Yeah. Well, what happened on what, what happened to the camera? Ali hasn't charged the microphone. So it's running out. He's got like a couple of minutes left. That's the issue. Okay. So it doesn't have its own uh, microphone. It won't. It's not going to capture it nicely. It'll be okay. disgusting. All right. Just wrap. Just try to wrap up. Yeah. Like, otherwise, up maybe room. take it from the brothers if you want to take the other one. This footage is just live footage. You can't take it. Okay. Carry on. We once once we acknowledge he's a prophet. So he's a prophet. So we have categories to show if somebody's lying. If they don't pass these categories, then we assume it's truthful. With Moses, he the categories he does not. What, what about if using one of these ones? Yeah, that's the only thing we can do. Okay, then okay, let's use this one. No, one continue. Two. When it's finished, I will tell you, and then you can use one of the microphones. Yeah, we can use one of the microphones. That's yeah. easier for you. That if that's uh, helpful. Yeah, when it's finished, I'll tell you. All right. We believe that we tr once you acknowledge the prophet is true. We take value, we take face value of what they say unless they violate certain rules. The issue with, when we, on the hypothetical that we're saying that the, that, that, that the Muhammad is an actual, is a prophet, that your prophet is a real one. Say that you're saying, the issue where we take with it is, is that some things within the, the scripture are, the, are the ones that, we, that, that contradict what the rules are when it comes to prophets. When you do, you, 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 listen, yeah. listen, 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 you're just, you know, you're just going around the bushes. You know that? No. You're asking what the Listen, issue, listen, yeah. don't, listen, yeah. just yeah. Stick, listen. To, stick to the point. You said there is a possibility that the prophet could lie, correct? Yes. Now, how do we know if they're lying? Yeah. Uh, how do you know that Moses has said the truth to you? Because there's rules when it comes to prophecies that he didn't violate. Same with other prophets. What? Same with other prophets. Same with other prophets. Correct. With well, your prophet did. That's the issue. No, what he did? He did. Because, for example, do you keep kosher? What do you mean kosher? Do you mil do you mix meat and dairy? Yes, we do. In the, in the Old Testament, it says you shouldn't. Correct. Is there obligation in the, in the, in the... Do you agree it says that it should? Does obligation exist? Yes. So it exists, so there is obligation. Do you agree? Now I'm asking what you agree. It's You're asking me to explain. I'm yeah, asking yeah, you... Yeah. My point is, does yeah. obligation exist? Yes. So it exists. So that's why this is from the rules which is obligated. I don't understand. Could you explain it? You know what is obligation? Yes. So there are some rules being obligated, mm -hmm. correct? So that's the that's the that's the duty of the prophets, and sometimes in certain occasions the, the rules being abrogated. 
So this is one of the obligations so of the rules. One of the rules when we have about prophets is that if a prophet ever comes to tell you to say that rules have been changed or abrogated, he is a false prophet. That's the issue. That that no, you no, ask. No, no, no. That's that. No, that, no, one, that. one second, one second. That's just. It's literally contradicting. Is it finished? Is it finished? Your uh... no. Yeah. Now you said the abrogation exists, correct? Yes. So it exists. Yeah. So that's one of the things. Why, why can't be abrogated? If the abrogation exists and it's something lawful, and it was done yeah. over over a period of time, so that's why who said if any prophet told you there's abrogation, say there's a false prophet, who said this? It, it, in the Old Testament, it says it. Who said this? I forgot which one. I don't understand. So, was it the word of God? Say this. Yes. No. Why not? That's not because God has abrogated things throughout the time. Like what? Many rules being abrogated. Do you think the rules, the, the rules that that was with, with the children of Israel, is the same rules as Abraham, Abrahamic rules? No, but we believe what we. No, I'll answer you because we. Where it says that that the only from when the Torah was given, the Old Testament, we believe on Mount Sinai, we receive the Torah. From then, if anyone comes to change it from then, then they're falsehoods. No, no. That's what we believe. Rock. You're asking okay. me. What did Solomon do? What do you mean? What did Solomon, Solomon. What did he do? Did he do the son of David? Yeah. What did he do different? Is there an obligation that happens to him? Did he marry 1,000 women? I believe so. So is this obligation? Is it required to marry 1,000? Is this obligation? Or would you the obligation or abrogation? Abrogation. No, why? Why would it be? So is allowed to marry 1,000 women? Yeah. In the Jewish faith, where is that? There's no issue against it. There's no prohibition. There's no prohibiting of it. There's no prohibition of marrying a thousand wives. So, so, so in, in the Jewish faith, that you can marry more multiple wives. You can marry as many as you like. There's now, there's in the Old Testament, there's no, there's no problem with it. There's, there was a rabbi in the 1600s who forbid it for West for Ashkenazi Jews. So, is this obligation? No. Is it allowed for him to do that? Yes. He didn't change it. He made it more stringent. There's <laughs> a different. So you are saying, look yeah. at this contradiction. It's not. So a rabbi can make things can more, make things more no, stringent. No, no. This obligation. This is, he, he is abrogating rules of God. He is not. He's saying it's, it's allowed. He said it's allowed. But I am prohibiting it for my followers to do it for X, Y, and Z. For example, if you're allowed to eat chicken, correct? You're allowed to eat chicken. Yeah. If you find out that the slaughterhouse that all of your members, your, all of your congregation eat from, turns out it's not halal chickens. Turns out he lied to you, he's behind it from Sainsbury's. You're going to stand up at the mosque on Friday and say, we pray. But that's not rules of obligation. You're talking about, you're talking about a rules of obligation. You, this rabbi did a rule of obligation he saying, he made, saying something God made it lawful, saying you cannot do it. He didn't know. God, it's not a question of made lawful. God prohibited, the pro, allowed something. And he is now, I have a question for you. Throughout the entire 2000... Way, I just keep thinking about the, your mic. Do you want to change it? No, no, don't think about shit. Because we have two mics already. Yeah. So when one of them dies, you just take it and you hold it in your hand. Let me know because I need to, because I'm just keep thinking about Don't it. Don't think about it, I will leave. Shaq, he'll do it. That's, he's he's going to look Don't after it. Right. Now, you just the hijab. Where in the Quran does it say it's a hijab? Mention in the Quran. What? Yeah, say shimar, it's called shimar. So, so the, it says that you should wear burqa? No, not burqa. What? You didn't say burqa. But yeah. people do it now, correct? It's not an abrogation because it's no, a more a, stringent. No, no, no. no. It's a, no, it's a, it's, a, it's a prophet approval because what we believe the Quran yeah. and we believe the Sunnah. The Sunnah is the saying, action, approval of the Prophet peace be upon him. So the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he saw Sahabi women covering their face or covering their, their face, even the wives of the, his wives, his yeah. own wife. With only the eye holes. No, no, all, all, all the face. He used to cover all the face. So he he approved it, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So no one is not fit for no one to do that. Meaning, no one can come now and yeah. say, you know what, for example, now we are allowed to eat the slaughter of the Jews, us as yeah. Muslims, or the slaughter of the Christians. You're allowed, allowed to eat the slaughter of the Christians? Yes, or the Jews, yes. Because for us, we, we don't distinguish between you guys. We are, we are the same. You can, eat, so you can eat meat from Sainsbury's? If it's slaughtered by a Christian or a Jew, yes. What does it mean by Christian? By Jew, there's a kosher. Christians, there's a yeah, such a thing? They, they, they slaughter. Oh, yeah. They are God believers. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So the, the Christian or the Jews, they have only Ahli Kitab, they are called Ahli Kitab. Not, not necessarily, if Sainsbury, if Sainsbury, by the way, and, 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 and if, they, if, been, if they brought it from slaughterhouse, which is done by a Christian or a Jew, we, we take it, we have no problem. Even some Muslims, they are stricter, they say we accept from the Jews, but not necessarily from the, not necessarily, yeah? We say, we, we, we take it from the, uh, you know, we accept it from the, um, the Jews, but not necessarily from the Christian because the, the Jews they were more stricter etc no problem I, and I do appreciate 
You are covering the brother's uh, uh, camera. No, 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 no. So anyway, camera is more important than the sheikh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes. So anyway, why are you putting that? Thing? Was it raining? Is it raining? Yes, yeah, oh. it's raining. I can feel it. No, it might, I don't want you to dissolve. Okay, now the other microphone is also low battery. So <laughs> wrap up, sheikh. The, take the other microphone. No, no, the, both of them now. Okay. okay. This wrap up, it's been 45 minutes now. Okay. My point is, uh, you see here, if so, no one can come and say to the people, you know, you cannot eat from the Jews' slaughter. He cannot say it because he is forming obligation which Allah and His Messenger didn't do it. You see the point? No, no scholar or anyone will say these things to make obligation in the religion. So here this rabbi, he made obligation in the religion which God didn't reveal. You see the point? Uh -huh. So the, the point is you are allowed for a rabbi to do it. But when it comes to when prophets of God, which they, which God reveals to them to abrogate certain ruling, yeah. you say, no, 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 this is not. This so is not. the difference is, and now we're, we're, we believe that one can make things stranger, not less um, stranger. No, no. Who, that's not, who, you're who, asking for difference. Who, now you could say you don't agree with the law. But, but that's abrogation. I call it, it's called abrogation. No, but we it's simple. It is, this is abrogation. Try to think about it, that it is an abrogation of the rules. If someone bring it stricter or easier, that's abrogation of the rules. Like for example, Allah for example said, for example, to eat from the uh, horse or meat or, or horse or donkeys, etc. Yeah. For example, that was that was this what Israel Ayyakub alayhi salam did to himself. So he prohibited during his time, and then that was general Israel, you are not allowed to eat horses or donkeys, correct? But for us this has been abrogated. The donkey is still prohibited, but we are allowed to eat horses. We don't eat horses. I know. My point I know, and you didn't eat camels as well. What? And you didn't eat camel as well. No, you eat camels? Yeah, we eat camels, we eat horses. Is that good? Yeah, have you tried it? No. It's amazing. Which one is good? Camel or the horses? Camel, the camel. Especially the hump of the camel. The hump is good? It's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> try it. Just once. I can't. No, just try it. Trust me. <laughs> you will love it. If you eat, if you try the hump of the camel, you know it has zero cholesterol. It doesn't have cholesterol. No? The bad cholesterol. <laughs> it's the best. You should know. I have, a, I have a question. I, He's tempted. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, we all tempt. We all tempted for sins. Nice. nice. No, I have a question. That's tempted to a good thing. No, camel is not. I have a question now that we're ending yeah. it. If one day God would come down, whatever that means, and tells you, I exist, but Islam is not the religion. God, God, firstly, God doesn't, as we say, to describe him as coming down. Yeah, but I know that. But if he does, we know, I know there is no if. I hear. God, does, God will not do things that doesn't befit his majesty. Oh. Simple as that. Was, uh, I, have I wish you, Very you know, read more about Islam. Please, always do happy. that. Always happy to learn more. Learn about Islam and try to open your mind to accept the truth. You're, you're Sheikh in what mosque? I am in, the, I, I go to here, the Regent's Park Mosque, and I'm Imam as well in Cambridge, as well one of the Kula Al Ikhlas Mosque in Cambridge as well. So oh. I'm in different places. Very nice. I wish you, I ask Allah to guide you. You seem a genuine person. I ask Allah to guide you to the truth, and I ask Allah to open your heart to accept Islam and to know what is Islam is about. And maybe, who knows, maybe a few years down the line, you're going to be joining us in the congregation in the on Friday, on Fridays, inshallah, if Allah, if Allah will, you're going to join us and then you will leave the, you know, the untruth and follow the truth, inshallah. All right, anyway, David. It was nice. a pleasure to meet you. What's your name, Sheikh? My name is Sheikh Muhammad. Yeah. yeah. You are Dawood. Dawood, yes. Yeah. Do you say Dawood or David, by the way? I say David. Dawood. In, 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 in Hebrew, they Dawood, they call it's it Dawood? Uh, David. Dawood. Okay. Anyway. I have one, one more question for you, yeah. Sheikh. Well, what's the difference between what's in Mecca and what's in Medina? Mecca is the sacred house, you know. Mecca. The Kaaba is in Kaaba Mecca. Mecca. What's in Medina? That's only most of the Prophet and We go pray there. That's all. There is nothing, you know. Uh, of course, the visiting not, the mosque of the Prophet. Not Muslims can go to Medina, also not. So, no, all of it is that, that area. Mecca, and Medina is a sacred place which people shouldn't go. There. The oh, Muslim, yeah. non-Muslim shouldn't go there. Basically, it's not a place that for. It's not a place for people. They go to worship God. It's not a place to uh, tourism. No, no, I understand. I know, I know. In Mecca, non non believers are not allowed to go. I just want to know if it was Medina as well. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah.